Would Elden Ring's straight swords work as actual swords? Starting with the short sword, there isn't really any actual sword that's a short sword by classification. I mean, there are swords that are short, and this sword is a sword that is short. But overall, this sword looks kinda meh. It's kinda like in between a lot of things, like probably a similar size to a gladius. But thinner than that, but not as thin as a small sword. According to the description, it boasts a potent thrusting attack, and that would definitely be better than its slashing damage, since it's a pretty small and probably pretty light blade. It would work. The longsword is literally a longsword. I could get into the oakshot typology with that, but honestly, I don't really want to. There are a bunch of other videos that cover that. The broadsword is also a longsword, and I mean, technically could be a broadsword, because that term... I believe originated just to denote swords that were broader than rapiers, but I'm not aware of any specific classification to that. It's kind of like the Wild West, but this is a sword with a broad blade. The weathered straight sword reminds me a lot of some Carolingian period swords, which were kind of the transition from Gladius to what we know as a Viking sword. It's not exactly, but it's close, and yeah, it would work as a sword. Lord Sorn's straight sword is a long sword, and so is the noble's slender sword, although the blade is pretty slender. It could be like a rapier on a long sword hilt type deal. The cane sword, I mean, depending on the length of the cane, it could be a long sword length sword, but traditionally cane swords were relatively short and were predominantly thrusting blades. So that would be really cool if they put it in the thrusting blades category. Warhawk's talons look kind of, sort of like katanas, but a bit more like some versions of the Chinese Dao. Those look like cutouts in the middle of it, and that would jeopardize structural integrity quite a bit. However, even though they say that the sword is really light, it still weighs three pounds, which is regular longsword weight. So I'm honestly not quite sure what's going on there. Is the metal thicker and they made cutouts to make it lighter when they could have just made it thinner? I don't know, it's a cool shape. You could still cut soft targets, but harder targets would be a bit more problematic. Even parrying other swords. Lazuli Glintstone Sword is pretty much a longsword type deal with magic stuff. Carrion Knight Sword, longsword type deal. The Crystal Sword, I'm pretty sure you've heard me say that crystal is pretty brittle, and yeah, it's brittle. The shape, however, kind of reminds me of an African Equa which was an incredibly devastating short spear. So I think this is kind of more that than a straight sword. Rotten Crystal Sword, same thing. McQuellen Knight, Knight Sword? Pretty much a long sword, Viking sword, Carolingian sword, mix hybridy thing. The Ornamental Straight Sword is exactly what it says it is. It's pretty much a wall hanger sword. Looks super fancy, the guard is too elaborate and would be a bit heavy. The blade looks pretty thin. I love the golden epitaph as a kind of ceremonial symbolic sword. It wouldn't really have the best edge, but you could bonk things. Return of the bonk. The sword of St. Trina, I'm pretty sure I've seen some sword that's pretty much exactly like this in a museum. But I can't remember what it is, but it would probably work. The regalia of Eochade reminds me a lot of the sword of Gojen which was a super old Chinese sword made of bronze that, when they found it, apparently cut the person that found it. Because bronze doesn't rust, and this sword looks a lot like that to me. So that's neat. The coated sword, if it's like that one pata that I covered with fist weapons, then that's like a magic energy thing, and yeah, that's a holy lightsaber, so that is cool. The Sword of Night and Flame seems like it was named after a young adult fantasy novel. And it looks pretty fancy, but also quite functional. So it's a pretty cool mix of those.